What's going on, guys? So here it is after four months, the ZDZ-195. You can see there, unclaimed. So same tracking number, same box. Doesn't look like they cut it open for customs anywhere, even though it was in all these customs outfits. Yeah, nothing looks cut open at all. That's all my tape job. Um, yeah, I guess this video is relatively unimportant as I don't think anybody's running these motors in the US. I think they're super unpopular. Um, and yeah, it's a long story, but you guys know the story about why I got it. Because I wasn't even flying and I just listened to whatever Model Power said because I didn't really care at the time. I just wanted a pink plane, which I didn't end up getting, as you guys know. <laughs> so I was trying to make this short. So here's the deal. Let's let's cut to the chase. Um, yeah, one, I don't think this matters much because in the U.S., ZDZ is really not flown. And there's great reasons for that. And the reasons are what I'm about to tell you. One, you can't buy or get service for them in the United States from anyone. Um, and uh, if you do get one from them, you know, Czechoslovakia, um, you won't get any support I uh, on that one either. So you got your, your, your double fact. <laughs> um, yeah, so on this one, um, you know, I got it with the plane because uh, Model Power said it was the very best engine, and they may very well be the very best engine uh, with that rotary valve and the quality. Um, but with no support, it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a no-go. It's a definite no-go. So that's how I got it. Um, it ran really great for the first flight. Um, then it wouldn't start unless I backed it out. Uh, the needle's three turns low and high. Then it would start, but then it you know, wouldn't run at all good. Um, couldn't get any power or anything. So, you know, I tried the basics, um, popped the carb, checked out the rotary valve, clean the carb, uh, put it all back together, put new plugs on, went back out, didn't change a thing. Um, then I got suckered, which cost me a few more hundred. I already got the bad investment of whatever it was, 2,400 or something for the motor with the JMB cans and maybe more than that. Yeah, I think it is more than that, the JMB cans and enters. It's a ton of money. And I got suckered into that. Then I got suckered into shipping it because I wrote... I think I've told you guys a story already, but I, I, yeah, the first thing I did was I called Joe Lewis at GP and he said, oh, send it to me, you know, I'll get that thing running. But then I, I, I wrote an email to Micah, who acted like the owner of ZDZ in Czechoslovakia. So he wrote right back and he goes, hey, you know, send it in. We'll fix that thing for you. And then he gave me the instructions that he wrote out himself, you know, so, you know, say this much for custom, say it's for repair, or, you know, here's the address to send it to. Um, so I did, so that cost me more money. And then he just ghosted me after that. He was so quick on those responses, but then, um, and I was, you know, thrilled. Uh, I thought, oh, good service. Maybe the, the ZDZ thing will work out. You just send him the check, you know. It's, get a couple spares, send him the check for service. This guy's, like, responsive. It's all going to be good. And, um, but... Yeah, then he just ghosted me. Like, every time I said, can you check on it? You know, um, here's the number. It's in customs in Czechoslovakia. Um, they're ready for you to pick it up. You know, all that stuff. Like, no no response. Um, like, I guess four or five emails over a couple months. Just completely ghosted. No response. I just wrote, please help, please help. But, yeah, no response. And, yeah, I talked to U.S. Postal. And I said, hey, can you guys refund me you never even got it there they go oh no no we got it there and it was sitting there waiting to be picked up we did everything we were supposed to do and they claim they got um in touch multiple times but just couldn't get anybody to come get it um so yeah zdz czechoslovakia my personal experience is i don't know how i got the you know the response email going so quickly saying we'll take care of you but after that, you get none. <laughs> so I would have to say, yeah, no support from them at all. Um, yeah, pretty awful that they made me spend the money to ship it over there and wait four months. 
So now I'm uh, going to call Joe today, Monday, and Lewis, see if he still wants to see if he can get the thing running for me and then, then you know, get rid of it, sell it on Flying Giants or something cheap. And, um, yeah, my personal experience, including eight years ago, for sure, there was zero support then, too, in the United States. And no doubt, zero support in Czechoslovakia then, too. I mean, there's none now. Um, is Yeah, ZDZ may or may not be a good motor, but um, it is definitely a no-go if you're in the United States. Highly recommend you avoid them. And, and it's, you know, it's kind of academic because I don't think anybody does. You know, it's like this video is not worth much. Like, you don't see them anywhere and I don't think anybody runs them. I think people tried them for a while a few years ago and now everybody's pretty over them. Um, so this video, I'll get it. This video is just stating the obvious. <laughs> Avoid ZDZ at all costs. Um, no real nibbles. One little nibble on the model power, but, you know. Nothing serious, and not not any more than that one little nibble. So probably gonna break this thing out pretty soon, and just see how many flights I can get on it. And try to fly the living tar out of it. Um, have some fun. See how low I can rifle roll. See if I can catch a wingtip on the rifle roll. <laughs> and um, yeah, rifle rolling loops on the runway. Everything just yeah, just full on trash can beater plane. We'll just. Uh, we just have some fun with it. Make some videos. And yeah. The ZDZ. Definitely avoid. <laughs> Which I guess is stating the obvious. Nobody's going to get one anyway. So it really don't matter. Alright. ZDZ experience. Over and done. <laughs>